I, I was curious because uh, Dewanda plays your stepmom in in the movie, and your character Taylor, she hasn't fully accepted her yet, and there's kind of this archetype of like the teenager that's like rude to the mom, but um, and usually it can kind of come across as snotty, but I, I thought you had a really nice balance where. There's a quality that felt very honest and relatable. How is it kind of finding that strain without making it like too over the top and, and finding that middle ground? Because I, I thought you did a really good job with that. Thank you. And for Taylor, when I was kind of finding the balance between the aggressiveness towards Jess, I think, you know, she's a teenage girl who's going through a lot of changes with the move and Jess is really becoming a big part of her life now and they're all living together. And I think with that, it was just kind of, Taylor has a lot of issues going on underneath that. Um, you kind of see it with her biological mom and you kind of see that and um, kind of then when Alice goes missing, there's kind of this pressure that she's putting on herself and this blame and this guilt. And so I think kind of finding those moments to see her as being kind of an innocent and young girl, but also having that aggressiveness. And uh, your co-star Matthew, who plays Liam, uh, he is just so funny. He's this like shithead neighbor that's hitting on you and he, he has these fake drugs. He's trying to act way cooler than he is. It's just hilarious uh, scenes in the movie. Uh, how was it working with him? Because you you played off him really well. Yeah, that was so much fun. And he, he is so funny and, um, those scenes together brought that kind of the comedy to the movie, I feel like. And I mean, the scenes in itself were so hilarious. And yeah, there was this nice that we could kind of play off of each other. And yeah, those those were like the more lighthearted scenes. So it was definitely a lot of fun filming them. <laughs> was this the first uh, horror movie that you've done? Yes. How is that kind of experience of, you know, seeing how the movie magic is done and seeing, you know, how these terrifying films are actually made? Did it kind of demystify it? Uh, how was that experience? I think it was super cool. I feel like for this, we didn't have a lot of CGI. So, I mean, you see the bear beast right behind you. I mean, that that was all real. And getting to see that and have that and to kind of bounce off of that and use that in scenes was super helpful. And I mean, it was it was just a lot of fun. It wasn't scary on set, but I mean, it was a lot of fun getting to see how everything works. And uh, the actor that that plays the Chauncey Bear in the outfit, uh, he's he's a, a nice former basketball player and he just keeps playing these very wild creatures. How is that kind of disconnect of this very nice guy in this very scary suit and seeing him come at, in and out of the outfit? How is that as an actress? I think for me, it was, I mean, it's kind of like with everyone on set, I feel like you have that bond, and especially for Dwanda and I, we have that bond um, off screen. But then when you're kind of doing these scenes where I'm not being very nice to her or I'm supposed to be terrified of Dane. It's like ha being able to kind of remove that bond that we all have and kind of really step into the character. Um, and especially it helps that he had this huge costume on and I couldn't see his face. So that was definitely really helpful in helping me forget about who was actually under the costume. <laughs> and they did such a great job with, with, with the giant bear at the end because uh, like it's gruesome and it's such a departure because we see this cute little teddy bear throughout the film, you know, and then it just turns into this huge monster. Do you remember your first reaction when you got to see the the full extent of what the monster looked like because it's really an awesome design. Yeah, it really is. They It's so detailed. And um, for me, when I first, I everyone had kind of been talking about it and I didn't get to see the full costume done and everything done until I was filming. And um, in the scene, I love that I can talk now without being worried about spoilers, but in the scene where um, the bear beast kind of rises out from under the presence. When we did that scene, that was the first time I had actually seen the bear beast in all of its costume and the height of the bear beast. Um, so I think that was, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that they didn't get my reaction on that. They weren't focusing on me because I think I would have just been like smiling, like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Like not, 
not the whole freaked out thing of it, the reactions of it, but but yeah, it was it was so detailed and they they did such a good job on that. And uh, speaking about spoilers, I wanted to ask you about the ending because I thought it was so hilarious. The very the very end where you know they go to stay and they see a, see a kid with another imaginary friend and they're just like, nope, we're we're gonna try somewhere else. I, what did you like most about that ending? I thought it was a, a great capstone. Yeah, I we they originally we they, we actually did that in additional photography and we did multiple um, different takes of it and we actually weren't sure. Um, like when we filmed it, we did multiple different kind of versions of the ending. And then I got home and I was kind of like, okay, like, I don't know which ending it's going to be. But yeah, I think it was like a nice kind of cap on the movie. And it was like a nice little, and it was kind of like a comedic, they'd just gone through all of this <laughs> crazy stuff. And then they kind of have a little comedic cap on it. And then I, I was curious, what's been most rewarding about going through this whole process of a big theatrical release where, you know, you have the premiere, we're seeing yourself in ads all over the place. It has to be, you know, pretty surreal. But like, what's kind of been the the highlight of this whole roller coaster ride you've been on the, the past couple of months? I think for me, in throughout this entire thing, I kept a lot of the plot and everything a secret from my family and my brothers and my dad. So for me to be able to see it in theaters with them and get to really experience it. And like the whole, the whole time I was watching the movie, I just kept turning around to see what they were doing. And I knew where all like the jump scares were and everything, but I did like a, it was really hard, but I did like a pretty good job at keeping like the entire plot hidden from them. And so I think being able to finally get to see it with them was such a highlight. And then my last question, uh, Piper Braun, who plays your younger sister, uh, she's fantastic as well. How was it kind of developing that family dynamic between you two? I think it was kind of an instant bond with us. We were both so excited for this film and we, we didn't have too many scenes together, but we kind of dove into that whole sister dynamic offset and we were always getting ice cream and um, playing board games and exploring New Orleans. We hadn't, this was our first time, both of us in New Orleans. So yeah, we, we just had a lot of fun offset. I feel like, yeah.